Hi guys, here's another um, energy momentum question. This is the question paper from um, 2009, um, the national paper, the DBE paper. Now it says Tazan of mass of 80 kg swings from rest. So when he swings from rest, that means his initial velocity here is zero. Um, swings from rest. Um, on a rope of length of 10 meters horizontal when he starts shown in the diagram below at the bottom of his swing he picks up Jane um, sitting on the ground in an elastic collision Jane has a mass of 50 and they swing up as one unit so um, he the rope that he's using is 10 meters so as Tarzan swings down he moves um, the distance from there, it's still 10 meters. It's 10 meters all the way. It's a constant distance between. It's 10 meters and it picks up chain. And they swing together as one unit. The mass of the rope and the effect of the friction can be ignored. That means this is a closed system, right? So, now in 6.1... It says, states the principle of conservation of linear momentum. Guys, it's very important to state the definition um, um, according to the exam guideline. The conservation, of the, the conservation of momentum, it says the total linear momentum in an isolated system re remains conserved in magnitude and in direction. So in 6.2, it says, calculate the combined speed of Tazan and Jane after he picks up. So... When Tazan moves there, uh, from there, from the height, he has, um, he has the, he's in the height. From down to there, the height is still meet ten meters because it's ten meters all the way. So he has the height. It's ten meters. That means the gravitational potential energy is not equal to zero. But since the kinetic, the velocity is zero there, that means um, the kinetic energy there at the top is equal to zero. Because he's stationary, there's no velocity. So as he swings down, the velocity increases. And then just before, just before he picks up, um, the picking up guys, what you need to understand when he pick up chain there, just before he pick up chain, um, um, him and Jane when he picks up Jane, um, it's 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 a collision. They collide with each other. So we'll look at the velocity of Tazan just before he pick up chain. So we call that it's a velocity before collision. They collide when they pick each when they pick them each other okay 6.2 it says calculate the combined speed after collision so we want the the velocity when he picks up jane that velocity after that collision so 6.2 what are we going to do first today we're going to calculate the velocity of tazan just before he picks up jane that means that's the velocity before collision. And then we'll be able to calculate his velocity after collision when he picked up Jane. So, so the first thing that we're going to do, um, we're going to use the conservation of moment of mechanical energy. We'll say the mechanical energy here at the top is equivalent to the mechanical energy here at the bottom so that we can get his velocity here at the bottom just before he picks up Jane. So this is what we're going to do. We'll say mechanical energy at the top is equal to the mechanical energy at the bottom. Right? So at the top is only Tazan. Even at the bottom, we look at Tazan only before he picks up Jane. So it will be um, it will be mgh plus half mv initial square plus m equal to mgh plus half mv final square. So now the mass of Tazan, um, the mass of Tazan is 80. 
it's 80 with times by 9.8 and the height is what is 10 he's a, he's 10 meter above how do we see because of the length of the rope is 10 and he doesn't have the kinetic energy because he's at rest there at the top then at the bottom he doesn't have a height when he gets here he doesn't have a height the height is zero that means the gravitational potential energy will be zero so we'll say half the mass of Tarzan is 80 this is the velocity that we want so when we punch this in the calculator when we punch 80 times 80 times 9.8 times 10 it's 7840 equal to um, half times 80 is equal to 40 vf squared and then we divide by 40 both sides so we'll have the vf is equal to square root 7840 we divide by 40 so the answer it will be the answer will be 14 the v final it will be 14 meters per second this velocity is the velocity just before collision this is the velocity just before he picks up he picks up jane remember the picking up is the collision all right okay now we have that velocity now we want the velocity after the velocity of both of them when he picks up jane so now we have to be careful we we'll use the conservation of momentum we'll say the momentum before is equal to the momentum after before we look at their momentums before those this is the mass um, which is the initial mass of Tarzan um, so let me say T plus this is the momentum um, the momentum of J so they they move off together after collusion so their mass are combined it's a mass of Tarzan plus the mass of J so they have the final velocity I'll say it's T J it's a system they move off as a system together so the mass of the mass of Tarzan is 80 come on it's 80 with times by the velocity it's 14 and now his velocity before collision and the velocity of Jane before is zero because he's station she's stationary at the bottom so the momentum will be zero so now the mass of Tarzan is 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 80 and the mass of Jane is 50 and then we want this velocity it's TJ the velocity of Tarzan Jane so we'll say in the calculator 80 times 14 it's 1120 and the 80 plus 40 it's 130 um, VF TJ we divide by 130 both sides so we divide the answer by 130 so the velocity of Tarzan and Jane is equal to 8,62 meters per second and that's the their velocity after collision meaning it's their velocity after Jane was picked up by Tarzan so now let's answer the question now 6.3 it says will Tarzan and Jane reach the height of 10 meter um, um, on their upward swing give reason for your answer now this is not possible because um, the answer is no because Jane swinged um, from the height of uh, Tarzan swing from the height of 10 meters so if he was alone he was going to be able to swing to another height of of 10 meters above the ground but now there's an increase in mass there's an increase in mass 
because he picked up Jane, so that means the velocity will decrease. There will be a difference in velocity. There will be a change in velocity. So the answer is no here because the total kinetic energy um, after collision is less is less than than before because remember the velocity that he had before he picks up Jane it was higher than the velocity when he picks up Jane because of the mass the mass and the velocity they are inversely proportional the increase in mass when he picks up Jane the velocity will decrease that's the answer there now in 6.2 6.4 it says if Jane is holding on to a bag of bananas at, at the time when Tarzan picks her up, how will their combined speed compare to the obtained in question two? So the speed when he when when Jane now is in more mass, when he when he when he's holding on a bag of banana, which is it contributes to the increase of mass. So the more the mass increases, the more the velocity decreases. As I mentioned, they are inversely proportional. So the velocity, the velocity will be what? Will be smaller. Will be smaller than, right? Because of the inverse proportionality between um, the mass.